Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking from Richmond Green Chambers in London. Today I'm looking at a book I've reviewed before, and it's a book which I think everybody who attends court regularly as a professional representing clients should certainly read and know about. Uh, the book is called The Devil's Advocate. It's now a third edition and it's been written by Ian Morley, Queen's Counsel. It's been published by Sweet and Maxwell, who are part of Thomson Reuters, and the subtitle of the book is now A Spry Polemic on How to Be Seriously Good in Court. Now, have a look at the book first of all. It's a very small book. There it is. Um, it was even smaller. That's the back of the book, the spine and then the back. There's a picture of Ian there, which you can just see. Um, it's actually quite a bit bigger than it was. Um, it was actually very small initially, and it's grown. There's no index. That's the very last page. Uh, the overall advocate. But the front, I'm very pleased to say that Ian has given me pride of place with a very nice reference. Uh, and in fact, I've got it on the back as well. I thought this was an excellent book when it came out, and I haven't changed my views. There are lots and lots of people who think the same. He's had a lot, put a lot of endorsements on. And then there is the front page. Then we go into the book itself, that's the third edition. And then it's about the author and explains who he is and what he does. Very experienced man. I went to Oxford. There's some acknowledgements there with the various points. Then there's a very nice dedication to his children. I always like to mention the dedications. Then there's a note uh, October 2014 about this new edition and why he's had to actually uh, change the title a bit. Um, it used to be called a short polemic and it's now calling it Spry. And then it, he goes into the chapter headings themselves and then each chapter you can see how it's set out. What I did like, you can see there's plenty of space in the various pages for you to make comments. And I do think that's actually very helpful, depending on what you want to do. Now, the title um, of each chapter, you can see there very clearly what the chapters uh, include. Things like winning, tribunal psychology, persuasiveness, case preparation, the opening speech questions. The useful bit about the Court of Appeal, if you've ever been there, not the easiest of places. And advocacy in other places, things like the closing speech, experts. I think experts will find that very helpful as well. And that's, as I said, that is the book. It runs to about 400 and just under 450 pages in total. Now, I think this is a very good book. It's very modern and it's very much part of what we today deal with as advocates. Um, I come from a generation where advocacy was probably slightly different. Um, and we have had to compromise and move forward with the way that we do our business as far as the tribunal or the court are concerned. Now, I've given it a title because uh, I consider this book an absolute must for anyone doing the bar course. So I've said, great for bar school and should be compulsory reading for all court advocates. And I do mean that it should be because this will give you some idea of what you're up against in the very heavy contentious fights that you might have. Most of the stuff I deal with is actually not particularly heavy. I get the occasional opponent who can be and you have to know what to do. But generally speaking, the way in which the court trial itself goes doesn't lead to huge amounts of what, what I would call great advocacy from past masters at it. But you do need to know what you're doing. And of course, the key is always to be the master of your brief. And I think that's a very important point. This is what we say. My wife Elizabeth and I have written this review, a chat with her about the book. And this is what I say. Well, he's done it again with this superb third expanded version and at double the length, but not cost. And the book reminds us actually of how brilliant Sweet and Maxwell are at spotting and producing these special legal friends for the jobbing advocate. That's what we have here. And how advocacy has changed. It's 10 years since the uh, birth of Ian's work, which took many of us at that time by storm for its originality. And I wrote in the barrister at that time that I thought this was an excellent step forward for all of us. Um, and I said that it showed one how to be seriously good in court, taking the author's original subtitle. And things have changed since then. CPR has come in in force. 
in both uh, civil, family and uh, criminal uh, rules. And as a result, that has affected the way that we litigate and advocate. But I think it remains the book of my dreams. And what I said before remains the same. It's a titanic of the advocacy world. And you can see what film I was watching at the time when I wrote the original comment. Because the advocacy here today gives, um, which is given, avoids all the icebergs and glacial stairs that you could well get from the bench. And I think, again, I said you must be very prepared, but you've always got to be aware of the little googly that is thrown at you, especially by his honour or her, her honour. And you've got to be able to deal fairly nimbly with that. And I think, again, that comes out nicely in the book. As I've said, the little book is bigger now, uh, just over the 400 pages, about 440 pages. It's still modestly sized and very easy to read, I think. Um, it's easy to digest. You can see what he's suggesting and the common sense of all the points he makes. And there's plenty of space on each page for you to add your own points with personal tips about advocacy style. Ian's writing style and his enthusiasm and approach continues to bridge that gap between reading about the art of advocacy and actually how you do it in a courtroom. I've revised my original view about the warm welcome I gave the first edition just to say on reflection that it should be in every wig box and not just that of the white wig. Uh, so thank you Ian and keep up the good work. As I've said before I come from an era where we had other books like the Art of Advocacy by um, Edward uh, sorry, Richard Ducan. That book in particular was one that I found very helpful because he did actually teach me. So uh, having moved very much ahead from there, I think this is very much a book for the 21st century and the way we adopt certain styles today. So thank you to all concerned. Do have a look at this review, which is also uh, in a written form in some of the journals, and it'll be on all the main websites. Thank you, Ian, and thank you, Sweden Maxwell. Bye-bye.